For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification to receive the updates directly in your device. Hello friends, welcome back to our live Linux training for members. This is session number 58 and part 10 of our ongoing SE Linux series. And in this session, we will talk about the multi-level security in SE Linux. You're watching Nehra classes and I'm your friend Vikas Nehra this side. So without wasting time, let's get started. MLS or multi-level security. The multi-level security technology refers to a security scheme that enforces the Bell La Padula mandatory access model. Under MLS, users and processes are called subjects and files, devices and other passive components of the system are called objects. Both subjects and objects are labeled with a security level which entails a subject's clearance or an object's classification. Each security level is composed of a sensitivity and a category. For example, an internal release schedule is filled under the internal documents category with a confidential sensitivity. Levels of clearance shows levels of clearance as originally designed by the US defense community relating to our internal schedule. Example above, only users that have gained the confidential clearance are allowed to view documents in the confidential category. However, users who only have the confidential clearance are not allowed to view documents that require higher levels of clearance. They are allowed read access only to documents with lower levels of clearance and write access to documents with higher levels of clearance as shown in this picture. Allowed data flows using MLS shows all allowed data that flows between a subject running under the secret security level and various objects with different security levels. In simple terms, the Bell La Padula model enforces two properties, no read up and no write down. This picture shows the available data flow using an MLS system. Here processes can read the same or lower security levels but can only write to their own or higher security levels. MLS access rules are always combined with the conventional access permissions or file permissions. For example, if a user with a security level of secret uses discretionary access control to block access to a file by other users. This also blocks access by user with a security level of top secret. It is important to remember that SE Linux MLS policy rules are checked after the discretionary access control rules. A higher security clearance does not automatically give permission to arbitrarily browse a file system. Users with top level clearance do not automatically require administrative rights on the multi-level systems while they may have access to all information on the computer. This is different from having the administrative rights. Now I will show you how can you enable the MLS in SE Linux. You need to follow these steps to enable the SE Linux MLS policy on your system. First you need to install uh, the SE Linux hyphen policy hyphen MLS package. So you need to execute the dnf install command for the same. Before the MLS policy is enabled, each file on the system must be relabeled with an MLS label. When the file system is relabeled, confined domains may be denied access, which may prevent your system from booting correctly. To prevent this from happening, configure se linux is equal to permissive in the slash etc slash se linux slash config file and also enable the MLS policy by configuring se linux type is equal to MLS. Make sure SE Linux is running in the permissive mode so you can execute the set and force zero command for the same. After that you will verify whether it is running in the permissive mode or not so you can execute the get and force command and verify the same. Then create 
a file with the name as dot auto reliable on the root directory to ensure that the files are reliable upon the next reboot. So you can create this file by running the touch command. After that, note that it is necessary to add hyphen capital F option to this file. This can be done by executing the echo command like this. So this will add hyphen capital F to this auto reliable file. Now reboot your system. During the next boot, all file systems will be relabeled according to the MLS policy. The label process labels all files with an appropriate SE Linux context. And you can see the output like this on the screen. Each asterisk character on the bottom line represents 1000 files that have been labeled and this and this process can take about 10 minutes. Once the labeling process finishes, the system will reboot automatically. In permissive mode, SE Linux policy is not enforced, but denials are still logged for the actions that would have been denied if running in the enforcing mode. Before changing to the enforcing mode as root, run the following command to confirm that the SE Linux did not deny actions during the last boot. If SE Linux did not deny actions during the last boot, this command does not return any output. So what is the command? Command is grep SE Linux is preventing slash where slash log slash messages. So this will show you the output like this. And if it does not show anything, that means SE Linux did not deny actions during the last boot. If there were no denial messages in the slash where slash log slash messages file, or you have resolved all existing denials, configure SE Linux is equal to enforcing in the slash etc slash SE Linux slash config file. Reboot your system and make sure that the SE Linux is running in the enforcing mode. And you can verify the same by running the get enforce command. It will show you the output enforcing. And the MLS policy is enabled. So here you can check it with the help of the SE status command. It will show you the output like this. Now let's do it practically on the system. To enable MLS in SE Linux, we will first install the SE Linux hyphen policy hyphen MLS package from the local M repository. I have already installed this package in my machine. That is why we are getting the output like this. In case if this package is not installed in your system, you can first configure the local M repository and after that you can execute this command to install this package. Now we will open the slash etc slash se linux slash config file in vi editor and here we will make sure that the se linux is in the permissive mode and the se linux type is mls so we can write here mls instead of targeted after that we will save this file now we can execute the set and force zero command to make SE Linux permissive. Now we will verify the same by running get enforce. It should show us the output like this. And after that, we will create the dot auto reliable file on the root. So we can execute the touch command for that touch slash dot auto re label. Press enter. After that, we will add option hyphen capital F to this file. So we can mention echo hyphen F double greater than slash dot auto relabel. Now we will reboot our machine. So we can execute in it six here. Then we will go to the VMware and we will check for the messages here. It will relabel the file system and all the files. Have a look at this. And this process will take some time. So we need to wait. The machine is rebooting.
and you can have a look at this you can see the last three lines here we can see that it is relabeling the files and this process can take 10 to 12 minutes depending on the capacity of your system so we will wait now you can see that it is relabeling all the files and directories as per the MLS dot auto relabel file on the root is created to relabel the file systems now you can see that the machine is rebooting again since the relabeling process has already completed now it will boot up normally so the system has rebooted successfully now we are going to check for the messages in where log messages file so here we can execute the grep command grep se linux is preventing in slash where slash log slash messages file and here it is these are the messages which we captured here in this file now after resolving these issues we will open the slash etc slash se linux slash config file in vi editor and here we will make the SC Linux as and we will also make sure that the SC Linux type is MLS there after that we will save this file and we will enable the SC Linux as well so we can execute set and force one after that we will verify the same by running the get enforce command and here you can see that the SC Linux is running in the enforcing mode now we can execute the se status command and there we can grab mls so it is using the mls right now in this way we can enable the mls in se linux now we are going to learn how can we create a user with a specific mls range We need to follow these steps to create a new Linux user with a specific MLS range. Add a new Linux user by using the user add command and map the new Linux user to an existing SE Linux user. And in this case, we are going to use user underscore u. So we can execute the user add command. So we can mention user add hyphen capital Z and there we can specify the user which is user underscore u and after that we will mention the name of the user which we want to add then we will assign the password to the newly created user by running the passwd command now run the following command as root to view the mapping between se linux and the linux user so we can execute se manage login hyphen l command here and it will show us the output like this here you can see that the john user is using user underscore u and s0 as mls range for all the services now define a specific range for this user john to define a specific range we can execute the se manage login command and there we can mention hyphen hyphen modify hyphen hyphen se user after that we will mention user underscore u and then we will mention hyphen hyphen range and then we can mention the range which we want to assign to him and at the end we will mention the username again view the mapping between se linux and the linux users so this time if we will execute the se manage login hyphen l command so we will get the different output this time the range would be the same for the john user which we have mentioned in the previous command to correct the label on john's home directory if needed we can execute the following command and here we can mention chcon hyphen capital r hyphen l 
and then we will mention the range and the location of the home directory for this john user so guys that's it from my side for today's session and here we complete the se linux series hope you will find this session useful for you if you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and if you're new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification i will see you in the next one till then bye bye jai hind vande mataram take care